<laughs> hey guys what's up welcome back um if you happen to find yourself here again i'm sure you see the title so you know what we're talking about today and i feel like i have to talk about this personally because i don't see a whole lot of people talking about it at least not people who look like me and i feel like oftentimes we're kind of shamed for not being christians as black people and it's just like hey listen everybody's not the same you know so yeah this is gonna just be like five of the main reasons um it's not all of them by any means but these are like the five big ones and i'm not trying to like send any hate to anybody who happens to still be a christian or anything like that nah this is just what i saw and these are factors that contributed to me just having to kind of wash my hands of um christianity so yeah um i do have some notes that I took and so if you see me looking down that's I'm just kind of reading everything so I can keep everything together I don't want to miss anything but yeah um so one of the first things that I kind of noticed in church was there was a social hierarchy and that to me never really made sense uh even as a kid because in my mind we're all the same you know like we're all servants of jesus are supposed to be so you know why are you mistreating one particular person or one group of people and you like revere this other group mind you the especially at the very first church that i went to the people who were like closest to the pastor and everything like that were some of the most corrupt people in like the church so y'all are doing the most dirt why are you trying to act like you're better than me that was one thing um another thing was there's just <laughs> when this corruption did happen it was almost like it wasn't supposed to make it out into like public or public church knowledge at least and so like that's point number two like there was kind of like a don't ask don't tell policy in place at pretty much every church organization that i went to that i was at for like long extended periods of time that i got to see and that's no that if something happens i think everybody has the right to know prime example of this i was 14 and happened to go on a youth church trip and on this trip some of the teenagers decided that they wanted to be a little grown you know what I'm saying, and engage in some grown activity. <laughs> and there were four people who, who engaged in this activity, two boys and two girls. And it, when we got back, it happened to get back to the pastor that this happened. Well, caused a huge, huge backlash, not only with the, um, the youth pastor at the time, but also with all of us, because we didn't say anything. And so uh, there, the four who engaged in whatever happened were expected to come back to church and talk about it, to give their reasoning why they did it, et cetera, et cetera. Well, the two girls showed up and were forced, were literally forced to stand in front of the church and talk about what happened and why they did it. And the, But the two boys, mind you, one of them was the pastor's son and one of them was like the assistant pastor's son. The two boys didn't show up didn't show up were never called at like a later service to say anything none of that and that caused such a big rift I, I think one of the girl's parents ended up leaving the church and then the other girl they didn't stay very much longer after that either because why would you not hold why would you hold these girls to one standard and then try and hold your um your own children to another standard mind you couple years down the line the pastor's son ended up having a child out of wedlock so you know it was kind of in there and i'm not shaming him you know what i'm saying that's not a shaming tactic but if you're going to shame these two girls then you have to also hold your sons to the same standard and they tried to keep like i wouldn't bring that up if they didn't try to keep the child a secret because they didn't the pastor didn't want the greater church family to know that his his son had a child out of wedlock but it happened you know what i'm saying i don't care most of the church didn't care you know what i'm saying like they did they were a little taken aback but it's just like yo at this time it was 20 what 2014 or 2013 something like that 
it is what it is. It's a thing. It happens. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that to me just never made sense why you have certain people who are treated one way and then everybody else is treated another way. Like, they don't get down. Third thing that I kind of noticed was there was a complete, I won't say a complete, but in a lot of cases, there was a lack of empathy that the pastors tend to have like outside of um like actual service you know what i'm saying there was one particular instance at my very last church that i ever went to where in the service sat with the pastor he prayed with me you know what i'm saying we sat talked great conversation you know what i'm saying like really felt like he was trying to get to know me like make a connection well the very next sunday that i came back there happened to be um there was something going on after service and i wanted to just kind of sit and talk to the pastor because you know we had a great conversation last week you know what i'm saying and it, it's sure it's outside of church or whatever it's after church but you know why why not go up trying to talk to him he could not be like he couldn't care less what i was trying to talk to him about couldn't care less totally dismissive and it wasn't just me he was pretty much like that with almost well i'm not gonna say that i would say he was dismissive like that with people who, who look like me let's just say it that way <clears throat> um which again is a major problem we are all the same you know what i'm saying like you're getting up here and you're talking about how you know jesus died for all of our sins right that includes you that includes me so again why are you trying to mistreat me that don't work and Honestly, that particular instance was where I kind of washed my hands of the Christian church. Um, and the thing for me that solidified it was going in and studying. Not really studying, just taking a step back and looking at my overall experience with church. And doing some, I guess, a little bit of um, studying and like research as far as like the history of Christianity. And what I found... I could not in good conscience continue on a Christianity. This was what was used to enslave my people. You know what I'm saying? My father's Liberian, so I have a direct connection back to the motherland. Like if this was used to take black people from Africa and brought over here and it was a tool that was first used to strip them of their identity as like where they come from, their tribal identity. And then also as a method of then continuing to keep them subdued and in control, taking away their um, their culture, their cultural identity once they got here to the motherland. And then for 400 years continued to be implemented on their children and their children's children, et cetera, et cetera, as a tool of demeaning, and overall just like keeping them enslaved mentally how could i in good conscience saying that i love myself how could i in good conscience continue to live my life under the label and the guise of christianity i could not do it i refused i refused to do that vehemently i had to let it go like it doesn't work and it's honest it like calling myself a christian if i still was that would be disrespectful to my ancestors. I don't want to do that. I, I cannot do that. I refuse to do that. So I had to like let it go, you know, and it's honestly been one of the most freeing experiences I can, I can honestly say I've ever had in my life. The amount of just mental anguish, stress and bondage I felt like I was under for all those years that I, you know, proc proclaimed Christianity for myself. I have never, like, I was a Christian, but I wanted to kill myself, you know what I'm saying? And, like, that's not supposed to be a thing, you know? Christianity teaches, on the surface, it teaches you love and acceptance and all these things. Well, how can you teach love and acceptance? And that's, and, you know, that, that, that sounds good, but that's not what's actually being carried out in the broader scheme of the church. And... It happens all over. It's literally all over. Look at 
look at the corruption that goes on in the um what is it the catholic church how they're always trying to hide stuff shifting all these people around you know to, to keep a secret like come on now we, we we cannot ignore the lack of true love and togetherness that exists at least i can't you know i i couldn't and i, I refuse to do that or subject anybody that might come through my line to that i'm not going to do that so yeah that's just kind of that's just a few of the reasons you know what i'm saying like i said there are very much many more reasons why i am not a christian but these are i would say the big five so and that's another thing this is this is like off topic this isn't one of the five but this is something i noticed that there is a complete lack of actual love for mother earth when mama earth gives us everything you know what i'm saying we get food from her we get shelter from her we get water from her and there it's almost just like a a non-factor when it comes to christianity that's the problem you know what i'm saying like why wouldn't you want to love on and appreciate and nurture the very um the very being that kind of gave you life like come on no yo and then to like disregarding the ancestors when you wouldn't be here and like you wouldn't be here without them you would not exist without your ancestors like i'm sorry it's a lot <laughs> so we i could literally talk about this all day <laughs> um but yeah that's just some of the reasons why i'm no longer a christian if you got anything out of this let me know down in the comment section below um yeah go out there live your best life you know what i'm saying whether that's christian or not i'm not trying to sway anybody with this video to leave christianity i'm literally just giving you my personal reasons as to why i left you know what i'm saying take this information and use it how you will you know this is just for me and mine so yeah um that was the video hope you guys enjoyed it if you did leave me a, a like down below leave me a comment and um i hope to see you guys in a, a future video peace and love and light to you all deuces